Welcome to the Fry Readability Mini Lecture. This presentation will teach you how to perform a Fry Readability on a text. The Fry Graph was developed in 1977 by Edward Fry as a quick and simple readability formula. It is designed to determine the grade level score for materials, both fiction and nonfiction, from grade 1 through college. It considers word length and sentence length in determining the grade level score. For a trade book and textbook, you use three sample passages and find the average rather than one sample passage. The Fry formula predicts reading level within one grade level. To conduct a Fry readability, randomly select 100 words in three different areas of the text you are assessing. I generally choose something at the beginning, another selection in the middle, and another at the end. When you are counting out 100 words, do not count proper nouns, initialization, and numerals. Next, count how many syllables there are in those 100 words. Then count how many sentences are in those 100 words, estimating length of the fraction of the last sentence to the nearest one-tenth. Finally, use the Fry graph to determine the reading level score. This is the copy of the Fry readability graph that uses grade levels. On the internet, you can access the Fry graph that uses age levels. Now let's try a practice Fry formula using one chapter from a science textbook on storms. I have already selected the 100 words about thunderstorm safety shown here. Pause the video clip and count the number of syllables. The italicized gray is not part of the 100 words. It is just there to show you the end of the sentence. Do not count these gray syllables. You should have gotten about 141 syllables. If you are a couple of syllables off, that is okay, as this is not an exact science. If you are way off, try counting your syllables again. I usually have a scrap sheet of paper and read the passage aloud, and every time I say a syllable, I make a mark on my paper. On this slide, every red syllable denotes ten syllables. Now, count how many sentences there are in this 100-word selection. Pause the clip so you can count. You should have gotten about 5.7 sentences. The periods are now in yellow to make them stand out. You have to estimate the last sentence. I estimated it is about 0.7 of a sentence. Now use the Fry graph and determine the reading level. You can use the graph in your textbook or print off a clear copy from the internet. Pause the clip to find the reading level score. Okay. We had 141 syllables, so across the top and the bottom are the syllable counts. We find where it says 141. 141 syllables is about here at the purple arrow. Now we use the sides and find 5.7 for our number of sentences. 5.7 sentences is where the yellow arrow is along the side. Now follow the lines until they meet you will see that they meet at the green arrow. As you can see, it is just inside the 8th grade reading level. How did you do on your own? Did you arrive at the same or about the same reading level score? However, we cannot say that this passage is representative of the textbook nor the chapter. You would need to choose two more passages and get scores for those 100 word samples as well. So let's pretend that we did two more 100 word selections in the storm chapter and got the following data. Using the Fry graph, what is the reading level score for the second and third 100 words? Pause the clip to find the answer. You should have found that the data for the second 100 words is 9th grade reading level and the data for the third 100 words shows 10th grade reading level. Personally, when I get three different reading levels within one chapter, as this data shows, I do a fourth 100-word passage to help handle any outliers, such as multisyllabic words, that are skewing the data. However, you can average this to have an idea of the readability of the Storms chapter. To find the average readability score, add the syllables together and divide by three. Then average the number of sentences. Then use the Fry graph to find the reading level. Do you have the answer? Pause the video clip to find it. You should have a ninth grade reading level score.